Hi, it's Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and in this video I'm sharing a card I made using Mama Elephant's On Point Borders stamp set, as well as the Make-A-Wish stamp set. I love the way the little solid squares look together, so I'm going to use that as an accent for my card. I'm also using the Big Happy Birthday to You sentiment from Make-A-Wish. I'll be doing all my stamping on patterned paper and I'm using the new Hello Darling 6x6 paper pad by Monty Paper Mill. I love all the mints and lavenders in this collection and there are some really cool patterns. I'm going to start with a white card base that opens from the bottom. I'm going to use some of the more subtle papers since I'll be stamping on them. These papers are double sided and I love that there are some very colorful busier patterns to use as accents. There are also three sets of each pattern, so I don't have to be afraid of making a mistake and not having a spare left over. I'm going for one of these two watercolored papers to use as my base. One has a more horizontal pattern and the other a diagonal one, and I'm going to choose the diagonal one since you'll only see the edges on the design I have in my head. Now I'm trying to determine how I'll layer the card. I'll be stamping the border on the watercolored base, but I'll need to choose a pattern to stamp the big sentiment on. Once I've settled on the two papers, I trim down the first piece and make sure it fits properly on the card base. Then I can prepare to stamp the border on it. I line it up with the grid on my cutting mat and hold it down with some masking tape. I'm using VersaFine Smoky Grey Pigment Ink. I didn't want to use black since it would be too stark against the pale colors on the pattern paper. I love that these border stamps are longer than the length of an A2 sized card, so it covers the entire length of the card without having to stamp it twice. I stamp it once in the middle and clean off the stamp with a baby wipe. What I want to do now is stamp the border again on either side of that border. First I'm going to use the Femme Frames die to gauge how long those subsequent borders need to be. I'm actually going to die cut this scalloped frame from crepe paper and then scrunch it in the middle to create a ruffle. This will also shorten the length of the die cut piece. I'm just trying to figure out how much of the ends of the border I'll have to mask off. I want just enough of it to show but not too much. I'm using washi tape to mask off three rows of squares on either end of the border, ink it up and remove the washi tape, then stamp. I do this twice, once on either side of the full length border stamped in the center. Now I can apply adhesive on the back of this panel and adhere it to the card base. Here's the piece of crepe paper die cut from the larger femme frames. I love that the stamp borders show through it and that's exactly why I use this. It's a bit like tissue paper but a lot more substantial so it resists tearing and holds its shape. Since I'm scrunching it in the center, I'm going to apply three strips of very strong score tape in the center of the card. I set that aside and scrunch up the crepe panel. Once that's done, I can apply it to the score tape and it won't move. Next, I take the other floral paper I chose and the smaller Femme Frames die. I want to make sure that the pattern is perfectly centered with the frame before I run it through my Big Shot. This panel is too big since I want the crepe layer to show at the bottom too, so I'm going to shorten the panel using a die. I line up the bottom edge of the die so that it's just underneath the row of flowers, just like it is at the top. I move my fingers up and down the back of the paper to slide the original stitch cuts against the steel cuts in the die. When I match those up and the paper stops moving, I know that I won't get any double cuts on the sides. So here's the frame after it's been cut. The stitches are perfect as if I used a smaller version of this die once. I hold it up to the card to make sure it's just the right size. Now I can stamp the big happy birthday to you sentiment on it again using VersaFine Smoky Grey Pigment Ink. Once that's done, I can adhere it to the card with foam tape. While I'm putting away my ink and scissors, I'm thinking that the card needs some embellishments. I'm just not sure what kind of embellishments to add. Enamel dots and sequins are definite possibilities, but first I decide to round the corners. So I decide to take the confetti die and die cut stars from this wood grain paper in three different colors. Of course I'm choosing the mint, lavender and traditional wood grain colors. Yes, that would be half a cutting plate. One of my big shot cutting plates snapped in half a few weeks back and I did buy new ones but I just haven't used them yet. I find that the partial plate works just fine. In fact, I have some great ideas that I'll share in future videos, so if you have a broken plate, save it. 
After the stars have been die cut, I place them on the card to make sure that they're the right embellishment and that I don't need anything more. As it turns out, there's not enough wow, so I'm going to die cut more stars from foil cardstock and layer the wood grain stars over it. The foil will give the stars a shiny shadow. While I was adhering the wood grain stars on top of the foil, I found that it was too smooth and slippery. In the future, I would take my craft knife and scratch the foil before applying the glue. Of course, once the glue dried, the layers didn't move at all, but during the process, it was a bit troublesome. After the layered stars have been adhered, I'm satisfied and can call my card done. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my cards. I'm also having a giveaway on my Facebook page to celebrate reaching 800 subscribers to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. To find out more about my giveaway, just go to my blog and click on the giveaway photo to like my Facebook page and comment to win. Thanks so much for watching.